brought to you by Sound Solutions, an independent acoustical consulting firm at ssacoustical.com. We provide you with knowledge and resources to address acoustical issues. I'm Bill Holiday. Thank you for joining me on this episode. I am going to discuss the acoustic camera. So there is a piece of equipment, and it's pretty expensive, $100,000 to $200,000 to buy it. And it consists of an array of microphones, a whole bunch of microphones on this disc. The one we rented was about two foot diameter, kind of heavy, but one person can carry the disc. The other person, you need a, well, you don't need, but it's easiest with the second person using a laptop to record the data. And what it does is there's a camera right in the center, and with the array of microphones, they can visually show you where noise is coming from. So you can point this array at a piece of equipment and it'll have outlines of different colored where um, the hot spots are, where the loudest portions are. It's a cool um, display. I mean, it's really interesting or good for clients to visually show where noise is coming from and where you're going to need to treat it. Um, the other features it has, you can show whatever, you can adjust the resolution so it'll show large steps in noise contours. Those, those contours can be very sharp or very small, so you can look at just these dots, the, the, um, the loudest spots, or you can see larger areas um, of where noise is coming from. You can also block out a source. You can pick an area and block out noise from that uh, source or that portion and see where noise is coming from from other, you know, secondary noise sources. So block out the primary and it'll show you where those secondary sources are. You could also aim it at reflected surfaces, the ceiling, walls, and determine the contribution from these different areas. So it's really... I think it has its uses because when we're dealing with factory noise and you have a loud piece of equipment, the noise is either direct noise coming right to that person and, and you can think of it as if there were no walls, no ceiling, you're just out in a field. The direct noise is just directly related to how far you are from that piece of equipment. Every doubling of distance, the noise level will drop about 6 dB. And then the reverberant noise. So if you were to block the direct noise, you completely have a barrier blocking it. And it's only the reflected noise from the walls and ceiling and floor. That, um, the treatments are very different. For reflected noise, you want to treat the walls. For direct noise, you want some kind of barrier. Um, or you want to treat directly the equipment. So it's an interesting tool um, to evaluate where noise is coming from, how much is reflected, how much is direct. The bottom line, um, you could analyze, I mean, there's definitely predictions that we normally do that can do similar work, give you similar results. I don't know if it changed the results or the recommendations we had because we had this piece of equipment. But it made us more confident because we could show, all right, instead of just using this formula of how much is reflected based on the reverberation time in the room, we could just visually, you know, look at how much is coming from, from the walls and ceiling and decide if it's worth treating them with some kind of absorption or just wrap the equipment or, or put up a barrier depending on the situation. Um, it, it made it quick. We evaluated three different facilities one day each, um, which I think it would have taken us more time trying to analyze, especially with the number of equipment, the amount of equipment that we looked at. It was a, a quicker way of evaluating, and it, it generated some nice reports. Um, so that is the acoustic camera and again, those are available to rent or for purchase, but they're quite expensive. 
Um, That's all I wanted to say about episode 12 about the acoustic camera. I have a couple photos on the website and the blog, and I'll throw a couple videos on the YouTube channel so you can see it in action, see the results it gives at least. Uh, the next podcast, I'll probably be talking about HUD, noise rags. Thanks for listening to Sound Noise Acoustics Engineering Podcast. Uh, my name is Bill Holiday again, and as always, I appreciate any feedback you have. Uh, I welcome any suggestions, comments, questions. I've heard from a couple people, and I really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated to, to put out a couple more or keep putting out episodes. So take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.